Hey guys, we're back. Uh, we're going to finish up this little hillbilly today, I hope. And uh, by the way, I wanted to wish everybody, I hope everybody had a, a Merry Christmas and uh, and uh, hope you have a good New Year's. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get started on this guy here. Uh, let me set this up here. I'm going to work and do the, uh, the soles of the shoe. I take a number... Uh, 11 uh, gouge and I start outlining this area here and this makes me a little canal to I'm gonna go back over it with a little v-tool and the, there's not much to doing these soles on these shoes you don't have to worry about the heel because his pant legs are are covering his where his heel is at. But there, I've got that in there. Can you see that okay, Peyton? Yep. All right. And I'm going to take a V tool, and I'm going to where I did these lines here with my gouge. I'm just going to go back over them with a V. and just enhance that cut just a little bit and coming across here now off camera I went ahead and put some folds in here and the folds in the pants but we're, we're going to go ahead and do that too later on but I did these soles. Now I'm going to come up here and put this little band around the hat. So I'm going to take just a V tool and outline where I drew these lines. And this is a quarter inch V tool. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. And I just go in and outline this. And uh, I did want to mention uh, my next video, I'm going to kind of summarize what I've done already finish wise. And then I'm going to do a sharpening demonstration on how I sharpen my tools. And, uh, and then the next carbon, I hope if I get it right, uh, I'm going to do us a little Santa bust that I've done in the past. And uh, I know it's after Christmas, but it's still a Christmas season, and you'll you can have it ready for next year. Now I put in that that little band here with my V tool. Now I'm gonna kind of make a uh, take a number nine gouge and come in here and kind of give it a fold look. Come around and just work your way around it. And just little bites. You don't have to take huge bites on your carving. Is that in focus all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. And we're still trying to keep these videos... Uh, where you can see them, but uh, sometimes it's, it's kind of hard. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, where you see these little high ridges and folds, I'm going to put them on this leg over here. So I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to work with a number seven gouge and make me some little folds across the pant leg. Right in there is where you see them folds. And then I'm going to go above that. On this guy, you don't need a whole lot. Just a couple fold lines. Just to keep, just to break up that straightness. I, I don't like the real straight look. Can you see that in there, Peyton? Yep. All right.
but that's about all we need right in there on those pant legs now I do need to come in and put some folds in here so I'm going to come in and with a uh, number 11 gouge and I like to come in and do the top first work my way over like that right there and then come down on this side of the arm and make a fold in there now what I do on the back I take a knife I do a little knife work I come in if you notice on this side it's just little uh, uh, carved marks in there I like to take my knife tip and come in and just kind of roll that knife and give it a just some wrinkled look effect. You just kind of roll it like this. And when you finish it, it really shows up when you paint it. But that's about it on that fold right in there. That's about what I've got. Now we we got to put in this little uh, this little rope which is his little rope belt. So I'm going to outline it with a V-tool. So I'll come in across here. Make me a cut there on the upper part of the rope. Then I'm going to come to the lower part. Now I'm going to tuck that down in there with a knife blade. Just kind of make it look like it, it's recessed in that. Those pants are recessed in there. And right in here, I'm going to put a little split area to show a division where the pant will be like that right there. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. Now I got to go back down here and make this little uh, knotted area with a, a V tool. Come in right here. And you just, where I drew those lines, I don't know if you can see them, but. Oh. got kind of a cramp in my arm because I, I put up all the Christmas decorations today and did a bunch of lifting so that arm this right arm is kind of giving me a little problem okay now I want to tuck this rope area right up in here just like I did above here just kind of make that stick out just a little bit more And then right where the little knot is, I'll do that. Is that looking all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. And you come in here with a stop cut. And this is small work right in here. And you're just using the very tip end of your knife blade. But now I've got the little ties. I got to make a separation in here where the knot will be. And it's just this little stop cut. And take a little notch out. Like that right there. Now I got to make it look kind of like a rope. And to do that, I take a little detour. And I just kind of make me some diagonal lines on it just to give it a little rope look. It's just, just to get that flatness out of there. And not a whole lot, just a, just a little bit. But that kind of shows you the rope. And, now, this one, he's... 
he's a little bit bigger rope but I didn't put the rope marks on this one and I did this one here now <clears throat> what I'd like to do <clears throat> is I've got the the textured on this uh, shirt in here and I do it with a number 11 uh, gouge and it's just you go in uh, now I'm cleaning that little chip there right now uh, I take once again this number 11 and I use it I use this number 11 a whole lot and I just come in and make little divots is that looking all right Peyton? Mm -hmm. and it, it this is uh, would be like he's got on long handle underwear uh, kind of a wool underwear look Now, that's that right there. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to put in these buttons. I've got a little, right in here, I've got two little dots right there. And on my buttons, I use a special tool. I have a, it's a little, eye, well, it's an eye punch is what they call it. And it's made by Rommelson. But it has a, the size button on there I want on there. So I'm going to come in here and you go in and you kind of put that in there and press it down right where I drew the dot. And it makes me an indentation of a little round circle. You may have to work at it a little bit. And then I go and do my second button. How are we doing on time, Peyton? We good? Uh, good, good. All right. And I make little indentions like that. Now what I want to do is I come in with a, a gouge. And this is a, a dockyard, probably a number three sweep. I don't know exactly, maybe a quarter inch. And I come in and I make me some cuts below with it to make that button stand out. Upper. There's my buttons. Now, where I put my little dot, I'm gonna go in and take my little gouge and make me a little divot mark and take that little dot out of there. And it really, it really makes it look like a button. Now, what I'm gonna do now is do some buttonholes over here. So what I'm gonna do is take my V-tool. Can you see that all right, yep. Okay. I'm gonna, and we're just about finished this guy here. I go in and make an indentation there, and one right there. And then I deepen that with my knife tip. Cross there. And just make it a deep cut in there. Same as here. And I put my little buttonholes there. Now on each side I make a little, a little stop cut. And this just kind of adds to the buttonhole. You make a little chip cut in there too. Like that right there. And I'll do it right here on the bottom. You just rock your tool in there. Make your little triangle cuts. And that's, those are my buttonholes. With my buttons here. Now, I'll use my wood burner and put two little dots in here to darken that. But other than that, uh, this guy, he's pretty much done. What, what, what are we doing on time, Peyton? How much we got? Good, good. All right, we got about four minutes, so I'm going to kind of... Oh, yeah, here in the back, uh, I need to put some pockets in. But right in here, 
we want to put some this coat tail we want to split it a little bit and make him like it's a torn been torn well and just give it a ragged kind of a ragged look and then one about right here we doing all right Peyton mm -hmm. all right and while I'm thinking about it while we're in here I'm gonna put me a, a line right there and one right here right there and right here and I'm gonna cut on these pockets and take a V tool and just outline your line in the this side of the pocket we got some more minutes there Peyton mm -hmm. all right right while we're at it I'm gonna put a few more folds right in this uh, back part of the legs here and I'm gonna use a, like a number nine I'm going to come in right in here and make a little fold right there. One below it. Then turn around and do this side over here. And this just, I mean, it just looks, it breaks up this leg and doesn't look as straight. But other than that, uh, this guy is pretty much done. How many, how many minutes we got, Peyton? Oh, about one. Okay. And next time I come on camera, I'm hoping to have him painted, and then I'll do a, uh, a, a sharpening demonstration, and uh, we'll go from there. So until uh, next year, I can say. Decade. Uh, happy New Year and happy carving to you, and we'll see you next year.